Hi, this is Darren Drew from D Drew Guitars. Today I'm going to show you how to put on the last piece of the back cover, actually, back piece um, on this. This is actually the easiest one to put on due to a couple things. There's no bend to it. There's less glue surface to deal to deal with. Um, and if you notice, I have um, it, it all cut out here for my back covers. And the way I do that is on a bandsaw. This is actually a 35 degree cut. I do this so that all my flaming matches, all my grain matches, I have both covers. It's going to be two separate covers. One for the controls, one for the uh, pickups, because I mount them from the back. And with this, they will come out very flush and you won't be able to see the glue or the, the cut line. Because the more I sand on the bottom side of the cover and the more I sand on the top side of here, the smaller the line's going to get. So it'll be virtually invisible, um, you know, line there for my covers. And I'm going to hold these in with magnets. Make it so there's no even screws. Okay, so I have my back uh, clamping block there already cut to size as close to the body as, as it can get. So that my clamps reach in as far as possible. I also have my my pieces um, set for the top side, so I can get to um, you know all the inside pieces to clean up the glue. And uh, they're all cut to size and everything. So I have this prepared to go on. I'll use a clamp on here to tighten this up. This is where my screw holes will be to hold the neck on. And before I go to glue this on, though, I'll spend actually even hours flat blocking it with a block like this, getting especially all the edges nice and flat. You can really tell when you're using a flat hard block like this where you need to sand more and where you don't. I'll take this edge here to my table saw and... I put sticky sandpaper down, run my fence right up next to the, uh, on top of the sandpaper, hold this up against my fence, and sand it back and forth, holding it tight to make this a perfect 90 degree flat edge that will meet up to this flat edge. So, let's get some glue on and get going. Try to make this as short as possible. I've scribed both sides of my surface here, my glue joint. I want to put a generous amount on. This is tight bond glue. These holes here are chambered because this is all maple body, so it's going to be really heavy. Incoming call. Sorry about that. Obviously, I'm using my phone. Okay, I want to spread this around generously, especially getting it up on this edge here, on both sides. I don't want it too thick by the chamber holes, because I don't want it to fill up with glue, but it's going to a little bit. You want to have a wet rag with you. And the reason I put cardboard down like this is to... Protect my workbench top to where it doesn't get too much glue on it. Spread this out everywhere. Not in my holes. This is going to be for the controls. This is going to be for a kill switch. This is for the output jack so you can get to the wires. But you, but you spend a lot of time getting everything super flat so you have a good glue joint because that's what you actually, it's a must to have. Otherwise, especially on this light colored wood, it'll be a black line on your glue joint, which that you don't want. Especially when you do a light colored finish. Okay, clean out some of this glue right now. Get my piece here. Push it up. I want glue to be coming out all over on this on this part. 
So now I'll get my screw and I'll tack it down. You want the screw to slide through your hole easily to where it's not binding as you're going through it. And I want to get this lined up to where it's not supposed to be. I'll put that in, but not tighten it all the way quite yet. Make sure that this is good. Okay, now I'll get a long clamp like this. And I will pull this together tight. Okay. Wipe off part of this glue. It's easy to clean up now. It's hard to later. Make sure that my clamping block is in the right place. Put this one down. This is my first most important edge, so I want to do it first. I'll get a clamping block like this that I can reach around from the far side. Move this a little bit. Yeah, you can still see. Get this right to the edge. And I want to get this right to the edge here. It's good if you have your clamps already preset for the height. Get my bottom side clamping block perfectly in place. And clamp this down really nice and hard. Make sure your glue joint, your seam looks good. Get another one of these. And I want my clamps out here so that they're not in my way for getting to the rest of the rest of it. Get this close to the edge. Okay, clean up some of this glue. I'll get to that more later because it's going to squish out. I want these nice and tight, so I'll put a wrench even on these. I can get a lot more leverage this way. Okay, that's good. Now I'll put another clamp right here. I want to get one farther in actually first, so I'll use one of these. Get it into this corner. here I'll put on as many clamps as I can fit on here because uh, I want a nice good tight glue joint especially on the edges okay I should be able to get this one out of my way now and if you come out I'll make another video for this, but if you come and find that you don't have a good glue joint, I'll show you how to fix it later. Clean up some of this glue squishing out now before I get too many clamps in my way to do that. Same within here. Okay, now I want to work on this part here, so I'll get this block, I'll clamp it together first, flip this clamp again, 
and it still should move because I don't have that screw tight yet. I'm not seeing enough glue coming out of there, really. try to squish some glue in there it's not seeing enough coming out so I'll just try to force some glue in there real quick just try to work it in now I'll clamp this again yeah see now I can see glue squirting out squishing out that's what I want to see Let's try this one more time. Okay. Now I will get my screw gun to tighten that screw up. This also helps it to stop moving. I kind of put my screw in at an angle so it really sucks it up there nicely. I'll put this here. My clamping block down below is good. These are my two things that I want really, really well. Now my clamp just broke on the inside of that one. So let me get this one here. Actually, let me go through from this side if I can. It's not gonna let me. So let me put this here. Clamp this down nice and tight. Okay, now that that popped off. Yeah, that's still nice and tight. So I'll go in from this direction. Just so I have room for clamps over here and clean up. Go right there so I can get another clamp right there. Okay, clean up some of this glue down here. And I'll just keep working my way around with clamps. this in from the other side Get my blocks in the right place and I'll go back and tighten these clamps over and over with the wrench five minutes later and then five minutes later again to the pointy edge. Clean up this glue that's squishing out. You know, it's messy. That's why I put the cardboard down, but that's why you want a wet rag so you can, <coughs> excuse me, clean up all this glue that's squishing out. So then I have this one here, and I have this one here. edge more
and I will keep going on from this. Don't want to make this video too long, but I'll keep clamping around here, clean, cleaning up the glue as I go. Let it sit for two days. That's the hard part for me, the patience part. We like that. And this is Darren Drew. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll show you some more um, how I continue on with this guitar. Thank you for watching.